Previously, to connect my MacBook to two monitors, I used two USB-C cables. Everything worked fine, but I wanted to reduce it to just one cable. In the next three minutes, I'll show you how I did it. So connecting two monitors to a MacBook is actually quite simple. You just take two USB-C cables, and that's it. If one of the monitors supports power delivery, you don't even need to plug the MacBook's power adapter in separately. Those two cables are enough. One will carry the video signal, and the other will simultaneously charge your MacBook. By the way, if your monitor doesn't have a USB-C input, no problem. There are many USB-C cables that have different connectors on the other end. For example, I sometimes use a USB-C to display port cable and a USB-C to HDMI cable. Everything works perfectly. However, these cables don't transmit power, so in that case, you'll need to connect your MacBook charger separately. I used this setup, two external monitors connected directly to my MacBook with two cables, for quite a while, but there were two things that bothered me. First, every time I needed to take the laptop with me, I had to plug and unplug both cables. Second, if I wanted to connect anything else to my MacBook, while both monitors were already attached, it quickly became inconvenient, and if I needed to connect several devices, I could easily run out of free ports. The solution to both problems is pretty simple and you probably already know it, a docking station. In that case, both monitors and all your peripherals connect to the dock and the MacBook connects to the dock itself. And if the docking station supports power delivery, you can have just one single cable going from the dock to your MacBook. This is exactly the setup I decided to go with. Since I didn't have any particular preference for a docking station brand, I just ordered the first one I found that supported multiple monitors and power delivery. Let's quickly unbox it. There's nothing extraordinary in the package. The dock itself, its power adapter, and a cable to connect the MacBook. Now let's take a look at the ports on this docking station. Starting with the back panel, there's the power input for the dock, a USB-C port to connect the laptop, and two USB-A ports, which I'll use for external drives. Then there are the display outputs, three HDMI and two DisplayPort. And finally, a LAN port for connecting to a local network. Next, the front panel. There's a headphone jack with a microphone, two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports. Everything you might need quick access to, so you don't have to reach around to the back for temporary connections. I also ordered two DisplayPort cables, which are perfect for my two monitors. Alright, it's time to unplug the old cables, set up my new docking station, and see if everything works. Okay, there's nothing complicated or particularly interesting about connecting the dock to power and monitors. It only takes a few seconds, but there's one important detail. When connecting the docking station to your MacBook, you'll need to allow the use of this device in the pop-up that appears, otherwise the dock won't work. So everything's connected and working. Just as I wanted from the start, my MacBook is now hooked up with a single cable, carrying video to both monitors and providing power to the laptop. Now, if I need to take the MacBook with me, I just unplug one cable. And when I'm back, I plug in that same cable and instantly everything, monitors, external drives, wired headphones and other peripherals is connected and ready to go. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Take care.